we'll guide you through how to set any audio as your iPhone ringtone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, you are going to need an app for this, and the app we're going to use is GarageBand. This is a free app by Apple, so open up the App Store, and then all you need to do is go and search for it, and you're going to see it in this list here. You can go and download it. After it's finished downloading, you can then go and press on Open, and it will go and open up. And what you'll need to do is go and locate audio recorder. So swipe along and then go and click on it. But before we can get any further, we need to go and have the sound file on your phone. So what I'm going to do is close off GarageBand. And what you need to do is go and find the file. So in this case here, I like to go and use a website called Pixabay. It's a place where you can go and download music from. There are other sites like it though, and you may already have the audio file on your iPhone, which you wish to go and use. In this case, I'm gonna go and download this song here. So I'll go and press on the download button like so, and then press download, and it's now downloaded. So once you've got the MP3 file downloaded or already on your phone in the files app, then come back to GarageBand like so, and make sure you have the audio recorder selected. Then go to the top right and go and click on that plus icon just here. And it should go and open up song sections. Click on section A and make sure automatic is selected and switched on and then press done. Also go to the right of the red recording button. And if that icon with like a triangle is blue, then click on it and make sure that it's gray. Otherwise there'll be a tapping sound. Now what you want to do is come to the top left and you want to go and click on this icon here. It sort of looks like different layers of lines. So click on it and it will take us to this screen. And then what you need to do is go to the top right and go and press that sort of loop icon just here. And this will allow us to get to our files. So at the top, make sure files is selected and then go and click on browse items from the files app, just like this. Now, recents will be selected. So if you can see the audio file you wish to use in recents, then it's super easy, you can select it or click on browse in the bottom right. You need to press the back button a few times and then you can go and locate it. But in this case, I can see in my recents, it's this one here. So then I can go and select it just like this and it will then be brought in. And then what you need to do is go and place and hold your finger on it like so and it should then go and add it into the track. And what I'm gonna do is just position it a bit further. So click on it and then hold your finger and then you can move it right to the start. And what you may want to do is go and use a section from the middle of the song, let's say, or the audio. Make sure the song is selected and then use this line at the start here and you can then go and make it shorter, like so. For example, let's say I want it to start just there and then I can reposition it to the start by clicking on it and then dragging it to the start again just like so. And then what you could do is make the ending shorter as well. So come all the way to the end and then you can click on the end and you can then make it shorter just like that as well. So it's super simple and you can just sort of go and customize it. Once you're ready to go and have this as your ringtone though, then all you need to do is go to the top left and click on that downwards pointing arrow and then press on my songs. And then it's gonna go and add it to GarageBand Recents. As you can see, there it is. And then all you need to do is hold your finger on it like this and go and then scroll down here and click on share and we can make it into a ringtone. So click ringtone and then it will say the length needs to be adjusted. I'll just press continue, that's fine. And then we can go and export it. So I'm just gonna go and name this audio and I'll then click on export in the top right. Once it's finished, it will say ringtone export successful. You can go and press okay. And now we can close off GarageBand. We can go and open up our settings You'll probably be at the top here. Scroll down to sounds and haptics and go and click on ringtone. And then as you can see at the top here, we've now got the option for audio. I can click on it and I can then hear how it goes and sounds. It's that simple. And now when I get a phone call, that ringtone's going to be used.